Hello and welcome to another edition of Shelby This Week. Here are some of the stories we have coming up for you. Consumers Energy was the topic of discussion at a recent town hall. We will tell you why this meeting was needed. A new lighted sign will welcome everyone to the Nature Center. Sworn in for his third term, Mark Hackle talks about the future. We have all these stories and more on this edition of Shelby This Week. Shelby Township officials requested a town hall meeting to discuss a proposed pipeline project. This construction would impact the ITC Holdings Corridor between 23 Mile and 26 Mile. According to Consumers Energy, this project is a must and the current pipeline that runs through that particular area is unable to withstand the number of homes in that stretch of 3 miles. Prior to this meeting, township officials were not getting the appropriate answers on how this project could affect residents in the area. None of us on the board are happy with the fact that, you know, if they're going to um, start this project in January or February in some sort of way, that they don't have um, any timelines or they can't even tell us which trees might be cut down. Um, there are just so many basic questions that have not been answered and uh, they need to be and they will be. Throughout the meeting held in Shelby Township's boardroom, residents were able to come up and voice their concerns on the project. Many of the people who were given the floor were not happy with the idea, and they see it as a danger to their family and their properties. We understand the concerns about trees and safety, and we are going to be looking at that. Um, you know, as we said at this meeting, our design plans aren't finalized yet. We're going to go back, look at them, see what we can do. Um, and, you know, safety is obviously our top priority. We want to install this pipeline safely so that residents for the future and current residents are certainly safe and feel and get the reliable service that they need. While some questions were not answered but written down by Consumers Energy personnel, there are plans to hold another meeting. The two things that we want to make sure happens, number one and always number one, is keeping the lines of communication open. This thing about not having a meeting because we don't have all the answers, it doesn't fly here in Shelby Township. We want to know what you know, and as importantly, we want to know what you don't know. So we're going to, we're going to find all that out. And the second thing is trees. Trees is on our logo. We want to know exactly how tree cutting is going to impact Shelby Township. Which trees are you thinking about cutting down? We want to know all of that so that our residents can have some input. So those are the two things. We want to keep the lines of communication open and we want to know what trees uh, could be affected and what are you going to do with the trees that are affected, what are you going to do to replace them? To watch the entire town hall, you can catch it on Shelby TV throughout the week. Of course, we will keep you updated on this proposed project as more information becomes available. If you drive by the Nature Center, you may notice something eye-catching by the road. The Burgess Shadbush Nature Center has a brand new LED sign. The purchase was all thanks to Joanne Burgess. Burgess was a lifelong educator and lover of nature. She was very passionate about the local area and prior to her death in June, she knew she wanted money set aside and donated to the Nature Center for a brand new sign. The sign and the gift from Joe Burgess are, are just go to show her huge commitment to natural education and uh, her commitment to this nature center. If, it, if not for her, we wouldn't have been here um, and this nature center wouldn't stand. So that's why it's her namesake and uh, thankfully, you know, benefactors like her come forward and um, not only teach and educate those around us and our park visitors, but also um, donate um, in different ways to help carry on her legacy and their legacy uh, for many years to come. And if not for them, we wouldn't be able to do these projects. So um, we have now a great way marking sign for people to learn about our events and to market ourselves to uh, our neighbors and people passing through the community. The old sign which was out front was destroyed by a car eight years ago. It took about 10 months to complete the construction of the new sign, which you can see day and night as you drive by. One of the biggest supporters of this project was Joe Burgess's family, who was there during the dedication ceremony. 
She has been talking about it for years. I mean, she started this nature center or the idea of it, and that's all she thought about. That's all she lived and breathed for. But the sign, that was a big thing. Every time we drive by or I drop her off here, she'd say, oh, we need a new sign, we need a new sign. So when she had this trust set up, that was the first thing on her list when she donated the monies to the Nature Center is to get a new sign. She thought that would be great. And the other monies will be going towards programs and other things to benefit the Nature Center. Joanne Burgess's legacy will live on and hopefully those signs will get more people to notice the Nature Center in the township. I'm Mark Eccles, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the this past election cycle re elected some politicians in Macomb County, including County Executive Mark Hackle. Hackle will serve his third term in office, a position he began in 2010. Prior to this role, Hackle was a police officer and then sheriff here in Macomb County. He was sworn in at the county building surrounded by county officials, including his brother, who is a judge, and his dad, was also there to witness Hackle's third swearing-in ceremony. And as Hackle moves into another four years in the county seat, he says the hard work his office has done these last eight years will continue. I don't know that there's much to really improve upon as, to chill, as opposed to just build upon it. And I think that's what we've been able to do. You know, the image and the understanding. You can't brand yourself as something you're not. And so with that, we are defense, we are automotive, we are manufacturing, we are healthcare, we are technology. So um, all of that stuff is starting to come into play and we're starting to build upon that. You know, the feeling people have about the communities that they live in. Um, you know, what do we do to enhance that with parks and recreation and quality of life? Um, you know, increasing our water uh, quality as well, working with our public works commission. You know, the issues of the jail. How do we figure out what are we going to do about the new jail moving forward? What are we doing about our infrastructure and the roads? That has been a continuation. Hackle was one of the many people behind the Mound Road reconstruction project this past year. But as roads will continue to get worse, Hackle says he plans to work with newly elected Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Well, I'm looking forward to working with this new governor and the legislature to help figure out how do we fix the funding problem so that we can fix the roads because we're prepared to do that. Hackle defeated Republican Joseph Hunt in the midterm elections by two-thirds of the vote. He will officially begin his third term in January. Still ahead on Shelby this week, Avon Players has a treat for you in the coming weeks for their musical production. The library wants you to help them decorate and get into the holiday spirit. The kitchen can be a dangerous place. Please stay in the kitchen when cooking on a stovetop. Please keep children at least three feet away from a hot stove. Never leave children alone in a room with a lit candle as they could get burned or cause a fire. It's a good idea to check your smoke detectors often, once a month. These simple tips can go a long way in keeping your family safe. You may be familiar with the Disney animated movie, but the stage musical of Hunchback of Notre Dame adds so many other elements. And it's your chance to check out the production at Avon Players. We're doing the, uh, the musical adaptation of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, as I'm sure most everybody knows, it was a, a huge Disney animated movie, uh, what, I guess around 1996. Um, it's based on a Victor Hugo novel. Uh, that was published in 1831, believe it or not, way back then. Um, and it's just a huge, lavish uh, musical. You know, anything with the word Disney associated with it at all is huge. And so it's just a really fantastic uh, production. I mean, every element you can think of is just huge and wonderful. With auditions in September, the cast has been hard at work rehearsing on a weekly basis, preparing for the show. And there's a lot of preparation that goes into any show, but especially a musical. There's so many layers of the production that are just so incredible. Um, I guess I would say, I think the music is so beautiful in the show. So all the work that we did uh, rehearsing all the music has just been an incredible experience. Uh, so I really enjoyed working on the music, as well as all of the staging. It's a very complicated show for staging, um, a typical musical. There's a lot of scenes that maybe just one or two people are involved, one or two characters on stage. This show, the entire cast of 26 people is on stage 
almost every page. So it's just a really big production that I've really enjoyed being a part of. Everyone's just been so excited to share it with an audience ever since we heard ourselves. We've had uh, separate rehearsals uh, because we do have an ensemble who uh, is running around the stage, but we also have this amazing blasting sound of a choir alongside us. So it's like blending it all together. Everyone's getting uh, so pumped to share it because we think it's great and we think everybody else will to hear the songs that they recognize from the Disney uh, movie, the cartoon, and to see it in real life up on stage. Just like with any book, play, or movie, the message throughout the show will resonate with audiences. What I would want audiences to get out of it, especially trying to embody what it feels like to be that alone and, and what it feels like to feel that rejected, is that even if you do feel rejected, even if you are alone, you're worthwhile and you're, you're worth having, you're worth being heard and try, even if you feel like it's impossible, try to overcome what the world is saying you can't be if you want to be that and try to be that person. The musical has many teachable moments and it is something the whole family can do together. I'll tell you, I think that you know, for the holiday season, everyone's looking for things to take the family to and this big Disney uh, spectacular show I think is, is a wonderful experience, something you can share with the family, bring the kids if you're looking for something to do at the holiday season. I think it's just a win-win situation for everybody. The show opens on November 23rd and runs until December 8th. You can purchase tickets right now by visiting avonplayers.org. It's that time of year where Christmas carols are playing and people are starting to decorate for the holiday season. And one annual, annual staple in the township is the holiday tree trimming at the Shelby Township Library. On November 29th, the library will welcome patrons to decorating events to get you into the festive spirit. Children can decorate ornaments to put on the tree or they can take them home with them. It will go from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. and all helpers are encouraged to attend. But if you can't make it and want to help in some other way, the library is looking for donations of cookies for the tree trimming events. Donations will be accepted until Thursday, November 29th. If you would like to donate, you can sign up at the information desk at the library or call 586-739-7414. For the second year, Shelby Township will host a coloring contest and the grand prize is a dream come true for any child. It's a really simple task. Any child who is in grades kindergarten through second grade and any special needs child, regardless of age, are asked to color this picture seen on your screen. This is open to all Shelby Township residents and there is no cost to participate. One entry is allowed per child. You can find your coloring sheet by visiting shelbytwp.org. All coloring sheets must be dropped off or mailed to the Shelby Township Library by December 4th at 5 p.m. Macomb Charity Connect will review all submissions and select a winner. The first place prize winner will welcome Santa to Shelby Township at the Christmas Aglow tree lighting on December 6th. The child will award Santa Claus with a key to the township. All the entries will be displayed in Township Hall until January 3rd. So get out those crayons and markers and start coloring. For 11 years, the Joy to You Benefit Concert has been helping organizations in the local area during the holiday season. This year, the concert will be at Trinity Lutheran Church on Van Dyke. With a mix of instrumental and vocals, there will be something for everyone. All attendees will be supporting the local women's shelters in Macomb County. They're in such need during the holidays. They're, unfortunately, they're the busiest during the holidays. So um, I always wanted to be able to serve the community with music. So it was a great way to take some people who were in need and also offer up to the community just a beautiful holiday experience. So it's kind of win-win for everybody. The concert will be on December 2nd at 3 p.m. Tickets are $15 for adults and $10 for students. Attendees are encouraged to bring a donation of soap, shampoo, toothpaste, or tissue. If you can't make it out and still want to donate, you can contact Barbara directly by email at kinley at AOL.com. 
Coming up next, the library hosts families for Lego Day. And volunteers are needed for an upcoming county meal delivery. We have these stories coming up next on Shelby This Week. Looking for a great time with family and friends? Roll on over to the new rink. We offer roller skating, games, an arcade with prizes, and even an extreme bounce zone for the kids. Let us host your next birthday party or reserve your private event in one of our banquet rooms. Check out La Rev Dance Company and 2SP Sports Performance located right inside our building. Schedule your next event with us. Visit the New Rink Roller Sports Complex on Van Dyke, just south of 23 Mile Road in Shelby Township. Builders and designers of all ages put their creative side to good use for the library's Lego Day. With all ages present, there were some very unique and creative designs throughout the day. Legos are something that kids and adults of all ages love, so this is a great kind of family event to um, get everyone here at the library building and creating and playing and um, just imagining and dreaming up ideas and putting them all together. While this event was geared towards family and children, the library hosts a lot of different events throughout the year for every age and interest. It's great on the weekend when everybody's maybe off work, um, that mom and dad can come together. Um, and you know, just have some free time together to create and play and have somewhere to go that's, you know, it's now that the weather's getting a little colder, um, it's nice to get out of the house and uh, go have something fun and interesting to do. The Shelby Township Library lists all of their events on their website. Visit shelbytwplib.org. Volunteers are needed in Macomb County to deliver meals to seniors in the area. Meals on Wheels is sending out an urgent message to anyone 18 or older to spend a few hours packaging or delivering meals. On December 1st from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., volunteers will meet at the Macomb County Warehouse to pack and distribute. Each senior on Saturday will receive shelf-stable meals. For times when weather is unsafe or other emergency circumstances prevent the normal delivery of hot meals to Macomb County seniors. If you are interested in volunteering, contact Macomb Community Action Office of Senior Services at 586-469-5228 or visit mca.macombgov.org. That's all we have for this edition of Shelby This Week. Remember, you can always watch us online or on Facebook. Just search Shelby TV. While the weather continues to get colder, some people and the animals are still out enjoying the weather, regardless of the temperature. Enjoy, and thanks for watching.